Allow me to first and foremost welcome all of you, uh, the media, and all invited guests to this auspicious and straightforward press briefing. As the Minister of Information and Media, is it correct? Is it correct? Okay. And broadcasting. Government spokesperson. Cornelius Mwetwa. A MP. I want to state government position. And take this. As official government position. Let me start by make mention to say as government of the new dawn administration, we are very sudden and we are grieved with the malicious and the way the media is perpetuating news or reporting news on various issues nowadays. As government, we are disappointed. Media, we can try to be professional. But these lies and these stories that are being published about the New Dawn administration, it's very unfortunate and quite disappointing. My appeal to the media as a minister, let's try to be professional. Please, let's try to be professional. I've seen a story being carried out saying as government, we want to ambush someone. How can the government try to ambush someone? How? When you follow that matter very well, you will find that government is not even involved. Because our role and our job as government and let me make a mention to say, let me even put this very categorical. This is our position. Our role and our job is to protect that person, not to ambush him. So even the stories and the rumors that are coming out, we are not aware as government. To me, I would say that is breaking news. Maybe before I continue, are there any questions? No, the ambush comes about the, the sentiments that that person said or issued and the cause for an air election. He calls for an air election. Yes. Election, elections. An air election. An air election. An air election, is it not something that takes place in the morning? No. That one has R. This one has L. Oh, election? Yes. Okay. Uh, I think the sentiments that he, he issued in that church, where he said, I'm the snake, I'm a dove, if I'm not mistaken. As a government, we are not going to respond and uh, or comment on that matter. But what you are doing is, is commenting and responding. No, I'm enlightening the public. Oh, don't you think he has a point that uh, if things go to waste, there is need for calling for early elections? Because... He, 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 let, if, let, let, if you are enlightened indeed let, let, let me hold your thought just there hold your thought just there first and foremost these problems that you are seeing around are global and the global part of these problems that in other countries they are calling for any elections like in which, the, which country are they in the UK in the UK they could have called for any elections that is UK UK's constitution and Zambia's constitution are different let me make mention to you 
the Republican president of Zambia, President Hagainde Hichirema, was given a mandate of five years. And that mandate was 2021 to 2026. That's the only time when we can hold elections. That's a mandate that he was given by 2.8 million Zambians. Let me make a measure. You, you, it seems like um, the energy, the focus has been diverted so much to one person than the so-called 2.8 million that voted for the... Uh, my government. brother... So maybe you can face my brother, the challenge, you can get the energy and channel it to the challenges that the 2.8 million... My Zambians brother, as, as government, this is our position. We are working tirelessly day and night to stabilize the economy. Then there's need to stop politicking, honorable. No one is politicking. No yeah. one is playing politics here. I'm being if, factual. If you can focus on working for the two, we are yeah. working for the two. You will see the results. You will see the results. Just like the just that they don't want to come out. The two point eight don't want to come out. Otherwise, they are hungry out there. They are hungry, the 2.8. They are more hungry than the other ones. Are you sure? Because as far as I'm concerned, just like the VIP mentioned on her post the other day, she said, we are in this pain because of the Chipote, which was left. Now, as a government... We are working tirelessly to make sure that all the necessary adequate measures are put in place so that we have a better Zambia. The only thing I can tell you, governance is not a child's play. It's different. It's different when you are outside. And when you are inside, it's a very different. But thing. you should have told people in the beginning like that. Like what we what we promised you is not what is going to happen because what we found is not what it is. Because people still have your promises. Director kindly remove this journalist on the transport refund. Can I have other questions from somewhere?